Okay, so the Please Donate trailer is out, and here are a few things I noticed in it. I might have missed something, so if you found anything new or interesting in the trailer, let us know in the comments. First, we see the creator of Please Donate being drawn to the Mystery Cube, which we all know is related to the Exo Cube. Technically, it's not a cube, but it's still from the Exo, I'm pretty sure about that. Also, this time, the enemies are quite unique. Most are in Roblox player form, meaning there are a few zombies, but most look like random players. Since I don't play Please Donate much, I'm I'm not sure, maybe they're developers or famous users. But anyway, as I mentioned, there are still zombies, but this time it feels different. Additionally, the map is a spiral type. We can also see some random NPCs in their own stands, which is cool because it really feels like we're in the Please Donate game. There's also a new UFO enemy, so we'll likely need a tower with flying detection to defeat it. Lastly, Hazem has turned into a boss. Remember, he touched the mystery Exo in the first scene, which transformed him. There aren't any new towers shown in this trailer. All I can see is the gladiator, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's coming back. It's possible, but TDS can do whatever they want. So we don't really know if the gladiator will return for sale or if it's just included in the trailer. Again, in this event, there are many new enemies, including a flying one, and the map will be spiral shaped, which should make things easier. As for the final boss, we don't have enough footage of what it can do yet, but we know it can attack our towers. We're very close to the event release date, and I'm excited to test it out when it's live. If I forgot or missed anything in the trailer, feel free to let us know in the comments. That's all for now. Make sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.